Hello YouTube, it's Andy again, and uh, in this example I'm going to revisit an old example uh, where, where I did uh, swipey tabs. Uh, in this example I am removing Action Bar Sherlock, but it is still compatible with older devices uh, with the exception of the Action Bar part of this code. Um, so if you want to use Action Bar Sherlock with this, uh, go back to an old video uh, import your um, <clears throat> action bar library and just follow the code that way. Um, but this is basically putting in a list view instead of a regular text view inside of a fragment. Um, this will probably be more useful for you, so uh, <clears throat> that's why I'm updating it as someone had requested something like this specifically. So uh, what I'm going to do is I've also shortened up the code. You only have three classes instead of um, four individual fragments with its own list in it. You can get creative. You can swap out the lists if you want. Um, you can do that all in one class. You don't need to create an, a separate class. Uh, I've been doing that as an example just to show you visually what you're doing. But um, you don't have to do that. You can make it a lot simpler and put in um, uh, uh, switch clauses to swap out the, the text depending on which uh, tab you're on if you wanted to. So what we're going to do is uh, we have our activity which is going to be a fragment activity since uh, using the um, uh, uh, hang on sorry since we're using the fragment pager adapter it requires you to use um, a fragment activity instead of a regular activity because this is all based on a support library. So even though this one is uh, only going to run on uh, ICS and above because of the action bar. Uh, it's all based of support um, support fragment code. So uh, if you want to use action bar Sherlock, there's fortunately not a lot different from this. In fact, I copied most of the code from a previous example with the this uh, with, with the swipey tabs. So uh, the tabs adapter isn't going to look any different, really. Um, so we're going to pretty much ignore this. Uh, if you want to take a look at how to create your tabs adapter, go back to that video. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing we're going to do is our main activity. Now this is all based on that tabs adapter so uh, and the view pager. So our uh, layout is just going to be uh, a regular layout um, with uh, just a view pager inside of it. You can just probably cut out all of this if you wanted to and just put the view pager and we're giving it an ID of pager um, in this example since I copied it from the last one this is how it's set up but you can set it up as set content view as the um, activity main uh, r.layout.activity main and the pager equals um, view pager uh, find view by ID and an r.id pager. That's exactly what this whole thing is. It's just a different way of wording it. So like I said, we're going to be using the action bar and not the support action bar. Um, so that's why uh, this, this won't exactly work in older devices, but um, I'm just showing this on an ICS uh, or Jelly Bean emulator. So uh, this is how you would do it for Jelly Bean. And so we need to, we're setting our, our tabs adapter and uh, we're going to add to the action bar a new tab. We're going to set the, the, the tabs text and we're going to set the, the actual fragment that we're putting into it. So this is actually no different except we're actually swapping out a fragment for a list fragment. So here's the code for the list fragment. Um, we have a, a string array here that uh, are just defined here and then um, so I have this in a values folder down here under strings and this is just eight items in, a, in an array uh, so mm -hmm. we're gonna get that array here and set it to list items then we're setting our list adapter and that's gonna be uh, just a regular uh, Android.r.layout, that simple list item one. Now, if you wanted to create your own custom adapter, have at it. You would just replace the layout for the row uh, there instead. Um, <clears throat> so, this is just a regular array adapter for uh, 
display purposes. So what this looks like when we run it in the emulator, we have three tabs here, and they all have the different names as list fragment one, two, and three. So here we have list fragment one, list fragment two, and list fragment three. And uh, they are swipeable, as you can see. And they're all just displaying the same list view because I, I didn't set um, individual views or uh, change out the, the string array depending on which which tab was selected. And you can still select them from up top if you wanted to. Now I don't mind doing items like this with the view pager um, because you have an X component which is the swiping and a Y component which would be the the vertical uh, list view and it, they, they, they work out pretty well. They don't really cause problems. What I would have a problem um, is doing the like the um, I get requests a lot for doing the view pager like this or the swipey view pager and also doing um, the uh, menu the sliding menu and uh, I have a problem with that because you're doing two things that are on the X axis so it's not really recommended to do something like that uh, if you do do that, obviously don't uh, set the um, the swipeable thing for the entire thing. It's going to get the the two are not going to coincide very nicely. You're going to make sure that you do something where it only selects the um, the like six pixels or something on the end to swipe like the the mm -hmm. stock uh, Android. Uh, one that was provided at Google I.O. or just select it to where you hit the, um, the icon here and it toggles it open and close. Okay, so that's a quick example of a, a swipe list view or a swipe view pager and um, doing list views inside of them. And I hope the, you like this tutorial. Thank you very much.